Hey, so what's going on guys? May here with Drug Talk Reviews and welcome back to another video. So this video, I'll be giving you guys the update on my Seafaro because it just came back like two days back and I've been driving it a while to just make sure everything is running fine. Fingers crossed so far, everything has been good. So I'll be taking you guys outside and showing you guys what has been done and also how much was the total cost. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's get right into the update on my Seafaro A31. All right, guys, so you can see my Seafaro right here. I popped the hood already. It's gonna rain very soon, so I've got to make this uh, pretty quick. Okay, so as you can see, the very big obvious uh, difference is that the intercooler is gone. You can see right here, yeah, the bumper has a big crack there and I'll be fixing it in probably in the months to come. But anyways, that's not really important to me at the moment because it still like scraps bumps and all and still gets the bumper damage. So not at the moment, but anyways, the intercooler is gone. It's because I am in the process of getting a slightly bigger intercooler. So that translates to me not doing the intercooler piping. So let me pop the hood real quick for you guys. Okay, so it is the same as what you saw before except for the thing that i changed right here this is the pipe i believe some breeder holes or something like that uh, so this uh, doesn't have any pressure but anyways uh, it was cracked and leaking so i decided to get this replaced so i got this fixed so now there's a t-joint right here makes it a lot cleaner and simpler as you can see right here so i did get my callover service both of these callovers right here so so far it has been working fine uh, not really much changes in fact uh, the reason I didn't want to do the top mount turbo is because um, if I do change out the intercooler, I have to do the piping all over again. So that's the reason why I wanted to get rid of the intercooler because the intercooler that came with this car, which wasn't used in the first place, it was very small, it's suitable for like a Kanchil or L, L5, I guess, L5 turbo or something like a very small turbo. But on this uh, engine and this turbo setup, no, definitely not adequate. Of course, the original intercooler is base smaller, it's somewhere down here. But anyways, uh, we will do that when we do the full build. But anyways, for now, I'm keeping everything stock, including the manifold, the turbo side, everything is stock. So I didn't want to do the piping twice because the piping cost almost 2,000 ringgit. And I felt that if I do it twice, it's not really worth it, especially on this setup. I don't think it's very worth it to do so minor changes but and not get really that much increase in performance so we will keep that for the full build uh, when i fully rebuild the engine and all i will definitely do the pipings properly i'll get this engine base sprayed up and all but for now the coilovers have been serviced however something really funny about this uh, is that this is supposed to adjust the number of clicks for the dampening but in fact let me try to get this out this doesn't this is actually a valve to actually feel gas or air i don't know I have to research uh, on these callovers, but so far, it uh, doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, it doesn't make sense to the shop as well who fix these absorbers. They're like, it's supposed to be the number of clicks, but this actually has a valve. Uh, but so far, the absorbers have been pretty good after the service. Uh, of course, they work now. As you can see on this side, it's kind of low. Uh, this is like a half a finger. And on the other side, it is like one finger so something is wrong with the setting right here and i have to send it back to get it like set again uh, but the rears are fine uh, so it's only the front so when i do turn the steering to the right or to the left uh, at a very sharp angle they do scrap the fender here uh, so i'm not sure whether i do like that but uh, i definitely have to adjust it uh, slightly higher and so the car will be more balanced but anyways uh, that's more or less uh, what i've done to the car Spend close to a thousand ringgit, around 900 over ringgit to get all these things settled. Uh, the Another thing was the gearbox was slightly leaking. So they opened up and found that it was oil seal. So it's a very simple fix. Uh, it didn't cost that much. I'm not sure the exact price, but it didn't cost that much. It's just a very simple oil seal. It was the, how do you say, the workmanship that was the one that cost a lot because they had to jack up the car, drop the gearbox and then strip it out, clean it and get the seal changed. So that was the cost. But uh, basically, uh nothing much uh so far it has been running good slight misfiring i bet it was this uh map sensor right here which i do have to clean up or get it replaced and i plan to do a uh, spray gdi cleaner i'm not sure whether that will help this engine but uh 
it won't do any harm to actually do a GDI cleaner uh, spray and clean up the whole system uh, but that will be for the next video because uh, I do need two people to actually do that because one guy has to accelerate to roughly about 2000 rpm and I have to spray in the cleaner so it's quite labor intensive I should say it takes time it takes a more, approximately half an hour to do, get that done but anyways for now you can see right here intercooler is gone kind of empty but uh, we'll get a bigger one later on slightly bigger one to actually fill up the whole gap and then from there we'll start building the piping and getting this manifold change getting a top mount turbo and uh, all sort of stuff like that so anyways this has been a very quick uh, update on the Cifero spent quite a fair bit of money already but uh, just to make sure the car is working fine I do not want any problems in the future all right so I hope you guys like this video if you did like it do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and I'll catch you guys in the next video